So we met back in high school when we were sophomores. Uh, he was new to the school and everybody was always like, oh, did you guys meet the fantastical boys? And I was like, no. And sure enough, Eric ended up being in my English class. I remember having braces. <laughs> she was one of those. But he was cute. He was really handsome. Honestly, uh, I always thought that, that, that she was cute, you know what I mean? I, you know, was brave enough to ask him and be like, hey, want to be my partner for Christmas program? And he said, yeah, and so we kind of hit it off from there. I ended up doing a, a Christmas dance with her. So, I mean, she needed like a partner and whatnot. And so um, I was able to, oh, like we were able to connect. I, I took it to my, uh, my winter ball, I think, and then also to uh, junior prom as well. And then uh, I was supposed to take her to senior prom. Uh, didn't end up happening uh, because I moved to Oahu. And then um, kind of lost contact. After that, I didn't see Eric or hear from him or know what happened to him for like 12 years until recently in 2013, he found me again on Facebook. Again, it, like, it wasn't until the next day that she actually responded to my friend's request. How, how, how rude, yeah? Probably like two and a half months after we found each other again on Facebook, you know, we decided to, to meet. So he flew over to Maui. Yeah, I was just like, wow, he's still as handsome as he was before. Maybe not as much hair, but um, still good looking and a little, and, a, and more on the buff, buffer side because I remember when he was in high school, he was not as buff as he is now. But yeah. Like when I first started talking to her, I mean, it always seemed like we picked up from where we did left off. It really felt like we just continued what we started like 10, 12 years ago. So it was, it was good, it was good. Eric is very loving, uh, majority of the time. For me, I, I, know, I know I'm weird, right? And so like to find somebody weirder than me, it's kind of weird, you know what I mean? And she's pretty weird and I was like, you make me look normal, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> but I mean, that's, that's one thing I, I, I like about her, you know what I mean? Like she, She's genuine. I mean, like her, her bubbly personality, that's, that's how she is. You know? I feel that, I don't know, God made him for me. You know when people say you have soulmates? I can honestly say that he's my soulmate. She basically goes to the rhythm of her own drum. You know what I mean? And um, I've, I've always enjoyed that about her. So I just felt that, you know, he was just the one for me. You know, he was the one that God, you know, made for me. And, I think that's the reason why I just love that guy so much. She's generally caring about other people as well. You know, like she'll go out of her way to help people, and she's she's instinctively just loving and I mean caring. And like it doesn't matter who it is, it doesn't matter. You know, I mean like where we are. You know, she always finds um, something. Uh, like she always finds something to help someone again. Okay, it might be inappropriate, but you know when he just randomly just farts. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> but the funny thing is, I'll fart back and be like, back at ya. And then he'll be like, what? And I'm like, back at ya. One of the funniest things I always tell her is like, she always needs to touch her, like, okay. So like, when we leave the house, right? If she doesn't, if she doesn't, her, her, if her pinky doesn't touch the knob, she has to like, like she freaks out. And she has to go back and like touch it with her pinky and then go back again. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's so weird. Um, like the song goes, um... I wonder what God was thinking when He created you. I wonder if He knew everything I would be because He made all my dreams come true. When God made you, He must have been thinking about me. I love you, baby, and I'm I'm just so happy that, you know, I have you in my life. Um, no matter what, I will, I will always love you. Um, despite any, you know, any uh, imperfections or um, imperfections I may have as well, you know, uh, I, I hope that you're able to, to bear with uh, all of that. But, you know, one thing that, that I can do is, is I can promise you that, you know, I will try my best and there is no there is no separation in what we, when, once we get together. And I promise, I think I promise. And don't touch your binky. Cause you know, you have that weird thing, yeah. All right, love you.